Hi folks, my name is John Gertan of Barnes into Birdhouses and the purpose of this demonstration video is to show you how to mount a birdhouse in anybody's garden. Now we're going to use my wife's garden here, she's off to work, and uh, in a few minutes you'll see how, how simple this is using just commonplace plumbing equipment. We can put together a magnificent um, durable birdhouse mount that will hold up one of our boxes and you can leave it there year round without uh, any fear of damage or uh, uh, tumbling down. Uh, I think you'll agree that this is a fairly easy thing to do. You don't have to be a big muscular person to handle any of this stuff. It happens very easily. So um, as we say in the bird business, we're just going to wing it and uh, I'll show you in a moment how to put a flange on a birdhouse. Off we go. Okay, so here's our birdhouse and we're going to uh, show you how to put the flange on the bottom. This is the one my wife is in love with. Uh, it's called the Queen Anne Birdhouse and it's one of our special ones with a, a, a copper predator guard on the front of it to stop sparrows from biting it, chewing it up. And um, we're just going to flip that over. What I'm using here to uh, uh, support it is an old milk carton I found in the garage. Nothing fancy, but you can also take the roof off and set it down so it sits flat too. And here's our flange. That's a Home Depot special there, one of our big box uh, wonders, right off the shelf. And I'm just going to put four screws in that. We're using three quarter inch Phillips screws here, and the reason they're only three quarter inch is uh, so that they don't go all the way through the floor and uh, uh, poke your feathered friends in the patoot. Here we go, and it's a very simple matter. There we just drive that right in. See, just blink of an eye, that goes in neatly. There's another one. And uh, this flange is threaded so it will uh, screw onto the pipe system that we're going to uh, knock into the ground in a few moments. Here's the last screw. Nice and snug. You can see how strong that is. That'll withstand the elements and uh, provide you a very substantial base, a strong base, to uh, mount onto your pipe system. Okay, here's the lower pipe that I'm going to drive into the ground right now using this carpenter's hammer. And I've also got a piece of wood that I put over the threads on the top of the thing to protect it when I flail away with that good old hammer so we don't damage the threads because that will stop your program. All right, so I just give it a couple of turns there to get it started in the ground. Put a block of wood on top of it like that. Here we go. I'm going to start it off. Okay, so now we're going to screw in the long section, and this is a five foot length that screws into a 22 inch length you've already driven into the ground. It's got a coupler in the middle of it. I'm just going to stabilize this lower one with my foot there so it doesn't spin around. You can see how they, they, uh, they'll screw in. There we go. Round and round and round. Nice and snug. So the last step is to put your birdhouse on the mount. And you remember the flange that we put on before. That's going to screw onto this threaded system right here. It's very durable and strong. We just put it on carefully, line it up. You don't want to let, it go, let go of this too soon because it could fall until it's snug. You notice I'm turning that round clockwise, mating it up with the threads there, holding on to it a little bit, and it's snug, very snug now. The great thing about this is that you can turn the whole birdhouse to face any direction so right now it's facing uh, my wife's favorite coffee window where she likes to contemplate her garden in the mornings. But I can adjust that to any direction at all, as you can see. And that'll be very stable and strong. This predator guard here stops sparrows and squirrels from damaging your birdhouse because it's solid copper. Something we had designed specially by a foundry, it was cast. And then the last little uh, wonderful trick is that we have these brass telescoping rings that can insert in there. So if you have problems with sparrows in your garden, you put that in and that reduces the diameter of the hole down so that it's too small for them to get in. And now you'll just get your favorite songbirds inhabiting your birdhouse. And isn't that cute? And let me show you how to clean these boxes out. It's very easy. 
You just turn that right around like that. You'll notice this pin in the back. Now this is very strong. That roof won't come off until I pull that pin out like this. And that's how you can clean out your birdhouse, just like that. We'll put it back on there, make sure it's snug. And back we go. So there's the result, a nicely mounted birdhouse. And as you can see, it's uh, set off very nicely by uh, my wife's rose bush here. It'll stand up to the weather for years and years. And uh, of course, in the spring, we, we can expect our little songbirds, our chickadees or wrens to come along and uh, occupy this box and uh, raise a family, raise magnificent music for uh, all to hear and of course our garden will be alive. Um, a bird comes along and he looks at all this bric-a-brac, it doesn't mean anything to him because of course a birdhouse to a bird is just a hollow tree and what you've done is replaced a piece of the environment by setting up a birdhouse, a bit of habitat that will invite our feathered friends, our magnificent songbirds to come and share your garden with you and this will go on for years and years. Thanks for your attention. Happy birding! And bye for now.